all gone. Nothing left. Most vital to day-to-day -day life will not be affected by this order. That means grocery stores, pharmacies, and convenience stores will all remain open. As you guys probably already know, uh, the world is seeing something very historical happen to it with this uh, disease flowing around the world. Uh, I think as of today, Ontario, Canada has about 177 cases of this disease and uh, it's shutting things down. So they, they issued a state of emergency here in Ontario. And I just wanted to show you a little bit what's going on here in Ontario. I'm in a very small town uh, north of Toronto. And I thought I'd take you around to a few of the stores to show you the shelves. Uh, people have made requests uh, to find out what's going on. And let's go into a couple of these stores. I'll take you into two or three grocery stores. We'll see what they've got on the shelves. Uh, but first, let's go into this uh, drugstore, see what's going on. Hand sanitizer, face mask, scrubbing alcohol, all sold out. As you can see, all the baby wipes are gone. There's a few left, unscented. But everything else seems to be stocked. A few less diapers in here. Double stocking on that. But most things are still around. A few empty spots on cleaners. Paper towel, face tissues. That's all empty. Toilet paper gone in this particular store for some reason all the frozen fruit and stuff is all gone for smoothies and things but again all the other food still here a few things are gone but still lots of food this is a little bear I'm not sure why a few less meats and things on this shelf people want the frozen pizzas Obviously, nobody likes these ones as much as these ones. President's choice. But again, you turn the corner and there's tons of other kinds of things. Seems to be uh, less hand soap in this area. I haven't had time to restock it. So as you can tell, most of the stuff is in there except the toilet paper and the cleaning products. So let's go check out another one. So as you can see, uh, that store, which is called Shoppers Drug Mart, Again, it's a pharmacy, a little bit of a grocery store, convenience store, and it's also a post office. And they have pretty much everything in stock. As you saw, they had at least one, one hand, hand sanitizer left. But as you saw, the toilet paper is all gone. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next up, Sobeys, another very large chain of grocery stores here in Ontario. And all produce and stuff seems to be totally fine. Junk food's totally fine, but over here, the bread seem to be empty or non-existent. Very low stock, but cake's doing fine. This meat section seems to be a little light. Some things seems to be gone and other things are fully stocked. Hmm. Not a whole lot of items here. For some reason there's not a lot of cheese, orange juice is kind of going quickly. And they're not stocking a whole lot of milk. There's lots of 2%, that's a good thing. Here's another one of those situations where Tropicana is out, but there's lots of this other Tropicana. So for whatever reason, that orange juice is sold out. And then we've got lots of eggs. All the essentials are still around. 
Here's the paper towel and bathroom tissue aisle. Again, they try to do the two limits, two packages per family limit, but it didn't help. It's all gone. Nothing left. All the canned tomato stock is gone. I don't know what this stuff is. Peas, peaches gone. Chickpeas gone. Black beans gone. Lentils gone. A lot of the uh, instant noodles gone. Soups. Faux is still here. A lot of the broth stuff is gone. Of course, a lot of the uh, big cases of water are gone, but there's still plenty of other water here. I'm not sure, one, again, why that would be gone over this stuff. Maybe this is sparkling. Yeah, it's sparkling water, that's why. For some reason, the Aunt Jemima pancake mix is all gone, but lots of syrup. Not a problem with the syrup. Some cereals are sold out, still lots of other cereals. Again, minimal supplies on the baby wipes. They still got these ones and these ones. And once again, all the hand sanitizer stuff sold out. Lots of toothpaste though. And as you can tell, Sobeys is pretty much fully stocked except for those unique essentials that uh, people are hoarding. Let's move on to the next one. This is one of the elementary schools in our area and they are closed through March break and for two weeks after March break. Uh, I just heard in Alberta, they're closing schools down until the fall. So no school for the rest of March, April, May, and June. All the kids in uh, Alberta are going back in the fall. That's crazy. I didn't think they're gonna close them that long. They've issued a state of emergency and they've asked all restaurants, and bars to close except for takeout. So if your restaurant or bar sells a lot of food and people use it a lot for takeout, you're more than welcome to continue doing takeout for people. But if your bar relies mainly on alcohol, uh, you're not allowed to uh, have people, more than 50 people uh, in your bar at any given time. The city of Toronto has also stated that when this clears, if it clears the next two or three weeks, they will actually do St. Patrick's Day uh, when all the restaurants and stuff, and they'll have a big celebration that's over, but there's no guarantees. Next up, let's check out this No Frills, which is another grocery store chain across Canada. All the Clorox bleach is gone. A lot more cleaners gone. A lot of the rice and noodles gone. Again, with a lot of beans gone in this area. Huh. Tuna. I'm not sure if you noticed in that store, it was really busy. Uh, almost every cashier had at least five to six people with baskets full. Um, I didn't notice what they were grabbing. I wasn't sure if they were grabbing a lot of like passes and stuff or they were just doing their regular grocery shopping. It is Tuesday mid afternoon, so it's kind of rare to be that busy on a Tuesday afternoon, but out of the places that we've been to, that was the most busiest. Uh, couldn't get a lot of shots of certain things because there were so many people in there. Uh, but all their toilet paper and, and paper towel, everything's gone. Sorry, all the paper towels there, no toilet paper. Uh, some baby wipes, which is good. And uh, yeah, most things, most essentials are still there. It's just the toilet paper and hand sanitizer mainly. Starbucks looks closed, but uh, the drive through is probably open, but I don't see anybody working inside. So uh, yeah, they're, they're closed. All the pizza places are still open. A couple of the restaurants that I just drove past are still open. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a hit or miss. But I would say most restaurants, especially when they can do takeout and delivery and stuff, they're all still open. 
as you can see the Harvey's drive through people are going through and getting their food and Sunset Grill is closed Osmos is open and so is the guac one last place we'll check uh, they have a lot of like kitchen stuff and they do have paper towel and toilet paper let's go into the Canadian Tire and check them out they're not a grocery store but uh, they sell everything that a department store sells except food let's go So here's the paper products, air fresheners, again, all the toilet paper, one per customer, they've had a limit, uh, but some paper towel left, which is good, lots of paper towel left, it's awesome. Some types of dog foods and cat foods are all sold out, but again, there's still plenty of other kind of stuff, still key litter. Nothing to worry about, people. So I just wanted to show you around one of our small towns north of Toronto is doing. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to go downtown Toronto and check out to see what else is going on down there. Bars, restaurants, and uh, other companies. And we'll see how Toronto is dealing with all this. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that.